To Let's Talk Motorsport, a show where a couple of blokes have fun chatting all things motor racing. My name is Daniel, and once again in the studio alongside me is Ivan and Alex is across the room. We've yeah. now got new cameras set up. Uh, Multi-camera. More professional now. Um, all because it. of Ivan going sideways in our last week's show. But uh, <laughs> what a weekend of racing, boys. We had Formula One supercars with the Sandown 500 and an IndyCar grand final. And also NASCAR as well, round two of their playoffs. Wow. Australia oh. wins again, huh? I mean, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. What a race. <laughs> from, lap, from lap 20 onwards. Oh, boy. Not the first 20 laps. That was like a snooze fest. And then it all just came alive. But yeah, between from sand down to multi-weather conditions in Melbourne, which is just a standard day over it's there. Just, no <laughs> just a normal day. And then the crazy, crazy F1 race and the final two laps. I mean, that was unreal. How unreal. good. Uh, oh, how good unless you're Sergio Perez, who for once was in front of oh. Max Verstappen and just, yeah, ruined his own day. I, I don't understand. I mean, look, whose fault was it? All right, let's just start with that. Let's just start with the crash. Sergio. You're, you're saying that <laughs> for a reason. I am a bit just, biased. <laughs> just straight Sergio. You just wanted Daniel Ricard in that no. seat. Um, I, I don't think it's racing incident. I don't know. Yeah, because like, but I think like you know, if you if you look at it, um where Sainz was, he yeah. was pretty close to the wall, so he's moved a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Perez, for some reason, has decided to also move in. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, mm. move out, avoid the crash, he, and then get he closer. he can see more. And I think that's what people are saying. It's Perez's fault. He can see more. He can see that Sainz is moving over he can see more peripheral vision whereas carlos is just looking in his mirrors guessing where he is mm. so maybe that's the reason why people think that it's more pros fault or we just want oh, perez yeah. out of the car after the mexican <laughs> gp exactly. which by the way could actually take place now like we could actually see him finish the mexican grand prix and then they just get him out of the car and just shove daniel ricardo in there how many races? Mexico's is what? Three to go? Four to go? Yeah, so we've got uh, Singapore and then Coda and then Mexico. So And then how many after that? Was that four. Four, 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 four. Um, mm. So, yeah, it can easily happen. Maybe they made a deal. You know, remember when we, we found out that Liberty Media said for uh, Perez to stay in? Maybe they made a deal for him to stay in post-Mexico. It would kind of make no sense, though, to have a new driver with three races to go, especially when they're fighting for well, a Williams. However, <laughs> constructors' points. Yeah, which has now changed. Exactly. That, that is the reason why you would put a, a Ricardo, a Yuki, a homeless guy down the road, Even anybody Liam but Paris. Lawson. Yeah, put Liam Lawson in. Logan Sargent's free. <laughs> um, yeah, next. <laughs> He's free for another reason, though. He's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But how, oh, bloody, before we get into the meat of things, how good was Col Colopinto? Yeah, how good were Williams? Full stop. Double points. Double points. Double. Double. Like, Colin, Al, brilliant. Brilliant. Albon was running third at one stage. Like, that's how yeah. competitive they were. But Colapinto only qualified the four tenths behind. Um, well, at one point it was four tenths behind the leaders. Yeah, mm. I mean, I think like you know, Carlos Sainz, he might be coming into a team that is not too bad on on the up next year. It could be a dark horse. This oh. this Williams team, if they don't leave the airbox. Oh Jesus, that was pretty. Funny. In the in the thing, <laughs> how do they miss a fluoro yellow? It's fluoro. You can't, they like, missed it on a dark blue car. But how do you miss ice <laughs> pouring from your car as he as he's driving off? Like how how do you miss that? Because all, a lot of the times, <laughs> that, make any sense. a lot of the times as well, the after they take off the the heated blankets off the tires, the car sits there for about you know three or hmm. four seconds. Yeah, how do you not see it? Especially when it's fluoro. If it was blending in with the car, sure. Yeah, but, but it's very much bright yellow. Very like, much wasn't like Valentino Rossi <laughs> colored. And I love the fact that they you know. You can't have external help, so mm. he had to like literally so yeah. himself. That was funny. <laughs> and then the tires would have gotten cold, and then you're going around, mm. and then and he missed out by like what a couple seconds. Yeah, so. he missed yeah. going on the whole lap. Oh, man. I know, pretty crazy. But the battle at the front, three oh, drivers man. battling for the win. I, I can't mean, believe Perez was one of those drivers. I know. That's, that's what I mean. That was race. that was weird as hell. Is one, and the funny thing is, it's his only chance, or one of his only chances, that he could actually finish ahead of Max on pace. And then he binned he, it. He likes Baku. 
Perez. Yeah. He won mm. there last year. I think that what was, was the last fa- win, wasn't it? What was fascinating to me, and we were yeah. talking about it. Uh, I think it was last win. Yeah, go on. What was fascinating to me, and we were talking about it while we were at Taylor and Ben today, we were talking about how uh, Leclerc was 4.5 seconds in front when he went when he went into the pits. But for some reason, he went really slow. As soon as he came out of the pits to turn for turn two, he really took his time, and then everybody bunched up. And that's when the race... Those, those tires, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. that's when the race came alive. Like, Un- the undercut was pretty... Uh, what's the word I was looking for? It was a, doing a doing an undercut was a very good thing. Basically. Yes, I remember the word I'm looking for. But I have to say though, this McLaren, the way that it's looking after its tires at the end of the race, it's like they've got like a cheat code. You know, do <laughs> well, not actually, wear out. There was a photo that got leaked. Oh. Uh, have you seen this? Of the rear wing? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about on the way as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen the rear wing. Yeah. It's yeah. A bit, could that just be literally just the the car kind of going up when it's braking though? It's good, po- just good point. Someone, but... is, is every car doing that? But someone's just thinking, oh my god, that McLaren's so good. Let's look into it. Everyone wants drama in Formula One, so of course they're gonna just but you know my point, find though, right? something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be happening to every car, but someone's just being. Hey, yeah, look, look, look. Well, at this. they were talking about how it's interesting because I think they were talking about how when Liberty Media took over, they I don't know. There's conspiracy theories that they've let Red Bull run this car, which was not legal. exactly 100 percent legal. Yep. But now apparently the new people that are looking after the rule book and actually going, hang on a minute here, let's read this gigantic rule book and go, actually, no to Red Bull, no to Verstappen. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you can't have it your way. So that's, I think, what's happening. But so far, every accusation that has been thrown at Mercedes for the front wing, uh, McLaren, it's all come back saying it's within the rules. Mm. And, you know, if you're not breaking the rules, then it's all good. Well, yeah, that's why there's a rule book. Exactly. Yeah. There that's you go. exactly right. I'm Will Buxton. You know, if you're first, you're not last. Yeah. So there if you you're go. First, you win. <laughs> exactly. And but, speaking of win, uh, yeah, Oscar Piastri. Nice was, transition. Yeah. Oh my God. Speaking of win, yeah, Oscar Piastri. He's done it oh, again. That and was beautiful. You know what's interesting? Yeah, Lando Norris is the only driver that can take it to Verstappen in the championship. But Lando's, sorry, Oscar's won more races than Lando. Yeah. Mm. And he's yeah. still keeping his streak of completing every single yes, race. Yes, Bryce's uh, hot streak yeah. there. Follow so, Bryce is yeah. listening in. Shout out, Bryce. And also, <laughs> let's just say, like, he did take 15 points off of Verstappen in one race weekend as well. Mm. I'm going to look at that up. So, I'll fif- get it up. So, 15 points in one weekend. How many races left? Six. Seven, I think. I'll get that up. Yeah. Too. So, it is It is Lando. Mm. It is a Lando versus oh, Verstappen. Yeah. But the thing or is, Leclerc is something crazy that would happen. But Lando needs to get up there. He needs to, because these last couple Seven. of rounds, Monza and Baku, he just. Hasn't been there. Yeah, but also yeah, we're no. coming up to a track now where Red Bull barely scored a point last year. Mm. Oh, which is Singapore. That's right, Singapore. Yes, that's right. They were terrible. And yes. we almost, Liam Lawson was the quickest Red Bull driver. And yes. we almost yes. saw a McLaren win last year too. We almost um, saw a George Russell. Carl Sainz won. Yeah, and George Russell, unfortunately, as long as Crofty doesn't say what was the magic words, but Crofty says <laughs> yeah. something and George Russell bins it. <laughs> Um, yeah, exactly. I can't remember those words up. So yeah. we're definitely expecting um, Mercedes to be competitive. And McLaren will definitely be Ferrari. competitive. Mm. What's going on at the moment, though, is this situation with the Pirelli tires. I mean, Lewis Hamilton believes, he genuinely believes that he wakes up Saturday morning and he's lost half a second. But George Russell, actually, at the end of the race, he yeah. made a huge statement. The medium tires are rubbish for them, but the hard tires were great. No, 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 no. He's saying from no. tire to tire, even if it's the same compound, they're mm. losing half a second. He said in the media, he said not even the tire manufacturer knows its own tire. He's saying it is huh. super frustrating. They've got a thousand people working in the in the office to make a competitive car. And he reckons between the first stint and the second thing, they gained a second and a half. It's the same car, same driver. They were apparently doing the same lap times as the leaders. Yeah, well, apparently Mercedes were the quickest car the last in. Yeah, so, like, what's going on with Pirelli? I don't know. They've always had, you know, question marks over tires, you know, the stints and the compounds and and whatnot. Cause, but, yeah. I mean, they this... They've changed the tire rules how many times over the last 10 years? Yeah, but this drop-off this, this drop is quite concerning mm. from session to session. I mean, we're seeing it in MotoGP as well. Sometimes the riders are complaining. They they put the tire on and it just doesn't, doesn't, do, doesn't anything. do anything. doesn't yeah. do anything. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what, who didn't um, have any tire issues was Daniel Ricciardo, who yes. uh, 
apparently, according to social media at least, didn't pit until the last lap. Um, oh, he did an album at the he did an album. <laughs> so he, uh, it was quite funny. We were talking about it as well today yeah. with the social media for V Cub. People were like, some say Daniel Ricciardo is still on those hard tyres. <laughs> yeah. In that, um, <laughs> Daniel they actually forgot he existed. No, no, Daniel, <laughs> Daniel Ricciardo is on those same hard tyres for the rest of the season. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, That's funny. Um, no, it was just a funny little thing I wanted to point out, of course. Uh, our it was good Aussie boy. Lance Stroll and uh, Yuki coming together. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> and Sorry, we don't La like Lance Stroll. So. La Lance is like, he turned in on me. Uh, I don't know if he had the corner. Yeah, and also he had more room. Um, yeah, well, I I think the biggest story is the first half in pace. He was 40 seconds behind Norris. He oh, could even huge. catch um, Perez. He? Yeah. Normally he wins by that much. Mm. No, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I mean, they're talking about the car doesn't have the bite to going into the corner. Um, you can just tell every every racetrack he's going to now. It's becoming worse. It's and, getting and, worse. And, and Singapore yeah. is even worse. It's getting worse. And I genuinely don't think they'll score points in Singapore. That's pretty. Although crazy. I did say that about this weekend, so I was. A bit wrong. But then again, <laughs> it was pretty close to that last year. So never say yeah. never. Um, well, of course, that's, that's Liam Lawson saying. literally finished ahead of Max last year. And he outqualified on no. debut almost. Yeah, I think he outqualified. I don't think he finished in front. Yeah, he qualified. It was the only. It was only, it was the only RB car in the top ten. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, did Oli Oliver Berman he scored a point? Mm, yeah, because yes. of the that, crash. How good is that? Which also means he's now ahead of the guy he replaced for this weekend in, in the two race field. meetings. So yeah, exactly. So he's um, got eight Kevin points, Magnuson is racing against his teammate in his own car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Oli's got seven, and Magnuson's got six. So there you go. Poor Kevin. Well, at least Kevin gets his car back. All thanks to and all these Sergio points, crash. <laughs> and all these uh, all these <laughs> disqualification yeah. points. But um, shout out to Franco Colapinto. In one week, he's jumped both Sergeant Bottas and Joe Guanyu. I was actually worried yeah, though at first because th throughout the practices and qualifying, it it, he it crashed. It didn't. No, it didn't look good at all. No, so the that fact that one. he made it into Q three was look, and then to get the race, you know, the result was for, fantastic. For me personally, it's showing Formula One that. As much as I love your Fernando Alonso's, as much as I love Bottas's, and your Daniel Ricardos of the world, move aside and the let young the kids. young kids come through. Mm. I know you want to stay in Formula One, but you've had your turn. I think Vettel did this. You know, Vettel you... could have kept going. Yes, and he might. And he, he might come back. He might come he back. Might come no, back. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So. Dun. Yeah, so no, it's really, really fascinating. I think, you know, he's, uh, yeah, he's doing really, really good. And he's shown tremendous pace and also showed a lot of passion, you know, getting into Q3, how excited he was. And he's proving the doubters wrong, you know? Like, I mean, yes, his sponsors did put $7 million into the bank account of Williams, but he's now scored more points than Logan Sargent. Actually, in saying that as well, he uh, made weeks. Formula 1 history again. He's the first Argentinian to make it into the 10, whether it's race or qualifying, since uh, Carlos Reutzman. Wow. Back in, I think, late 70s with, I think he was teammates with yeah, how, many, how many drivers have been from Argentina? Since? Not many. Yeah. Yeah. Was not many. But again, but still it's a stat. stat. But still good stats. <laughs> but in from South America, I think right now, you know, people are starting to move from the Sergio Perez fan camp. They're moving over to Colopinto. Yeah, well, not really surprised. Yeah. <laughs> that's, but, uh, that's, 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 there's a reason why. Anyway, Wait. should we go to the results? Mine's well. Absolutely. Okay. Far away. So we had Oscar Piastri obviously win. Charles Leclerc, what could have been, uh, was second. George Russell, luckily, got third. Um, Lando Norris from, where did he start? 17th? Yeah, about the yeah, seventeenth yeah, yeah. to fourth. That's it was good a big recovery. race. Good recovery, mate. Great pace actually, at the end on the we, medium. Before we get, did you see the onboard? I saw it on Twitter where Max Verstappen actually overtook Lando in the virtual safety car because that was the end of the race. Um, just to congratulate him, and Lando complained on the radio. Yeah, well, he's under investigation for that. Yeah. Wait, say that again. So on the final, you know how the final, final lap was, was the virtual safety car. Yeah. yeah, yeah Max yeah. actually pulled ahead of Lando just to congratulate him. On and how did he finish forty seconds behind? He caught up. No, no, no. On the cool down lap. As on the cool down on the lap. Cool down lap as they're going towards the pits. So he finished forty seconds behind, then floored it to catch up to Lando, just to say hi. Yeah, <laughs> and to congratulate him. Yes, there'd probably be some rules there on the cool yeah. down lap. Yeah, yeah. but the funny thing is, Lando bitched about it. <laughs> he complained. Aren't they best friends? 
or were, yeah, well, were they, best friends? After, well, since... When do they crack? Oh, Austria. Austria. They're not friends anymore. I do I, I do like <laughs> I do like Verstappen's comment when he says Oscar is closer to Lando than Lando is to me. So that's that team is gonna have to do some, you know, team management. I, I mean, think that's pretty funny. Not really wrong either. He's not. No, nah, not at all. He's not, but it's getting closer. Mm. It is. It's anyway, getting closer. Yeah, speaking of Max, he finished fifth. Fernando Alonso was at sixth. Uh, yeah, Alex Albon, Franco Colapinto, 7th and 8th for Williams. Lewis Hamilton, 9th from the pit lane. Uh, Oli Behrman was 10th. He struggled, Hamilton, this weekend. Mm. He just did not look happy. No. He'll be happy next year. He goes through stages. <laughs> <next year. laughs> yeah, he well, the, the car almost won. Um, Nico Hulkenberg he always finishes 11th. Pierre Gasly, 10th. Ricardo, the one-stopper in 13th. Joe Guanyu, 14th. Ocon, 15th, Bottas. I, you don't really know why he's there. Seven, uh, 16th. Oh, he just he just goes there for work, really. Well, his seat's still yet to be confirmed. So he I could well really stay there. Who knows? Or yeah. Vettel might go there. Who knows? And then the non-finishers, obviously Perez and Science on the last, second or last lap. Stroll uh, was 19th and Yuki Tsunoda uh, didn't finish. And speaking of Lance, because I was going to say this with Alonso, but... Uh, other news since the last show that we had is Adrian Newey has officially oh, yeah. been locked in for yeah. Aston Martin. Yeah, big for, news. For 20, we... well, 2025, no. but for 26th season. Because um, obviously he's part of Red Bull until March 1st next year. Um, so next year's car will not be his Adrian's, but in 26 it will be. So you reckon Fernando will drive an Adrian Newey boot car? Well, he's, he's, got con he's got a contract until the end of 26, so Looks he'll like at it. least have a year of it. Hmm. And Verstappen. And you regulate, and and <laughs> that's that's what I think is happening. <laughs> I think Verstappen is taking Lance's seat, and the oh dad, my god, I'd never thought about and that. And the dad is just going to say, "Listen, son, you're younger than him. You stay home. I'll have Verstappen for a couple of years, and we win a world title, then you come back." And then next minute, Max becomes Max Stroll. Simple as that. Max Stroll. Yeah, the, here's can the here's you, the adoption. Can I call, also son. call you dad? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But is you actually quick question? Do you reckon Lawrence will ever ditch his son to get Verstappen? Yes, really. Yeah. Well, if it's going to create, I would sorry. too. And Verstappen Alonso team with an Adrian Adrian Newey build car. Yeah, it's got and on. Honda backing you for your engines. I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean. That's a combination in heaven. So, buy it, buy it. In Lance. heaven. Yeah. And, you know, Rebel's going to have Ford, so they'll have, like, you know, probably just engine, check, him... engine check light on from yeah. lap one. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's very true. Very, very, now, very true. Great. Uh, yeah. Phenomenal Grand Prix. Um, the competition is fierce. It's becoming such a pleasure to watch Formula One this year, you know? Like, it is Finally. a spectacular championship. It's incredible. McLaren are now leading the constructors. And we still don't know how this championship is going to pan out. And that, that's 100%. Let's, uh, stay tuned for the next race, which is in uh, Singapore.